Hey guys, so uh, today I'll be uh, replacing my uh, stock head unit here on my 2006 uh, Nissan X Trail. I'll be replacing it with this uh, 7 inch touchscreen uh, Android uh, head unit, and uh, I'll post the link uh, down below for the one that I got. Uh, but yeah, I'll be replacing uh, this CD slash cassette player. Uh, this is the um, the basic unit, so not non-amplified, non-premium sound uh, system in here. Uh, but anyways, uh, we'll get started. We'll uh, remove uh, all this uh, cover here, and um, then we'll get uh, the install going. Okay, so to remove this uh, panel here, uh, get a panel removal tool or even a flathead screwdriver if that's what you have. Uh, you should start at the bottom here. Um, let me just the bottom over here so get your panel removal tool in here you should be able to start that working your way around it just clips holding in place you just once you've got one side you should be able to with your hands start uh, popping the rest of it out and that's how you do that so we'll unplug the four wheel uh, control here, and I think the plug is on this side here towards the inside. Just a push tab to release it, and just that one. And I'm not gonna remove the whole thing, I'm gonna leave everything else uh, plugged in. I'll just sit this kind of down here, as you can see, it's kind of sitting off to the side there. I'm not gonna necessarily remove it. Uh, well, you know what? I might just do it to because uh, I'll need to run my GPS to the uh, passenger side. But anyways, now we'll uh, gain access to the radio itself. There's four screws hold holding it in place. And I believe these are Torx 15 or 20. Uh, 20 is what uh, Torx 20s. So let's remove those. Right, we got the four screws out. Now I'm gonna remove the unit. Just grab and pull straight forward. Then we're gonna unplug our antenna. There's that one. And there's two plugs uh, for this unit. Again, depending on the unit that you have, you might have uh, more or less. Uh, so let's let me flip this over and. Uh, Get the plugs off. All right, we got the uh, two uh, connections uh, taken off and the re uh, radio removed. So there's uh, one, there's the second one, uh, and there's our antenna. So for this one, because it's a universal um, radio, um, it did come with a harness for the Nissan. However, it's different than mine. Uh, so there's that one there. Of course, it's not going to match to what I need, so there's no way for me to plug that in um, so anyways because uh, it is a universal it also did come with the universal harness so there's the one uh, that came with the radio uh, and I went and bought um, harness kit and I'll put a, a link to this one as well uh, so there's my two plugs that I will need uh, so they should be able to just plug in like so plug them in uh, like that and then what I have to do is with these uh, wires here So have to go and match them uh, to each one of these ones. They're all color color coded So just go orange to orange yellow to yellow red to red black to black, etc, etc And you should be done. Okay, so, I've got my um, Harness all prepared here uh, But before I continue plugging this in I'm going to run my uh, GPS uh, puck so that's uh, how the wire already here, and I'll show you how you can uh, do it and where I mounted mine. Uh, you can place yours wherever you like. Mine is going to be up here. I already have it uh, sitting here. And the way I ran it is I removed this uh, cover here where the tweeter is located. There's uh, the tweeter, uh, and there's this uh, panel cover here. And all you got to do is it's going to be sitting like so. You got to lose, you know, pull it straight back, and that should release. It has a few clips on it. Uh, and so the way I did mine is I access through the uh, glove box. So what I do is open up this uh, storage compartment here. 
there'll be uh, they're all going to be the same uh, type but uh, t20s there's gonna be open up your glove box there's gonna be five of them one uh, two three four at the bottom there uh, but we also have to take our uh, glove box out and to do that let me just put the clip down some now to gain uh, access uh, or remove our glove box there's two little tabs one on the left and one on the right you can do on you can do on undo either one uh, get a flat screwdriver pop it in between uh, the pin there and the uh, outside of the glove box slide that out remove it leave it inside there and then just angle it and pull it straight out that's how the glove box part of it comes off then you have this bottom uh, cover here you want to remove there's just some clips on it so just grab it and pull it straight back Goes down then we're gonna do uh, five five torque screws so one here one here one there a couple here and at the top there so I've already got most of them removed just to show you so there's one bottom here take that one out uh, this one of course Okay, then at the bottom here, uh, where is it? Uh, just over here, there's gonna be um, a harness uh, clipped on here. So you're gonna do is press down on these tabs, and I'll show you afterwards on the tabs and push it up to release that. Once you get all those off, you're gonna just grab it and be able to pull it straight down. And so what I was telling you just now is these two clips here. So these two here and then is this harness here that uh, will clip right onto here so just push them in and up and you can remove that now that you've done that let me just uh, grab the camera here and show you you go to the bottom here this is the harness i was telling you that you gotta clip in and now we got direct access to the top here and i'll try to show you if you can maybe you can see my my hand i don't think you can but uh, you're able to gain access, you can see there. Uh, you can see my fingers right there. So you can see, that's where I fed my, uh, my cable through. And cable's right here. So I'm gonna fit it, push it up through the uh, back pocket here, up and around, and it's coming out through the set of, of the vent here. So there's the uh, harness or the cable, and that's how I was able to feed my, uh, my GPS pack. Sorry for all the movement, but I had to show you there. So yeah, so now I got my uh, GPS pack sitting there, and that's how I, I did mine. So now I'll put all my uh, call box, everything put uh, back on, and then uh, we'll uh, continue with the radio. Okay, we've uh, got one... Uh, USB going to the uh, glove box uh, on the passenger side and the way I did that one was let's get the camera angle here so there's the USB I fed it right through the little uh, opening uh, on the side here where it slides uh, open and close and just fed it through there fed it right through the side uh, of the, uh, the vent here at the bottom of course and then there is my one USB now my second one um, is for myself so if I need to plug something in let's say my phone uh, to charge it or, or whatnot I have the second one here so you can see I have this one here going in right into this um, little compartment uh, that's sitting here in front of the steering wheel so if you open it there's a little opening just on the side of it feed the, um, the cable through there and that's this one here and then you should be able to just slide it straight down and get your hand through here and you should be able to grab it and pull it straight to where your radio is. So now I'll uh, be able to have it there. That should be enough uh, slack for it, and you can uh, close your compartment like you normally do, and uh, and have your uh, another USB sitting here. So that's that's where I'll have my second one. Okay, now that we've uh, ran all the wires um, everywhere that, that we need to, especially the two USBs, I've uh, gone and uh, plugged uh, all my radio here. So there's the two uh, plugs for the go to the car itself. Uh, there's a USB, there's a USB, there's uh, our uh, AM-FM, 
our uh, GPS puck and of course the uh, RCA inputs. Uh, so this one's if you need to plug anything in, uh, this way you can do it. Uh, I don't have nothing here yet. I'll be doing a subwoofer uh, here the next uh, little bit. Uh, so I'll be using a couple of those. Um, but anyways, uh, now I'm pretty much ready set to test it out. Um, one thing I will note, the brackets on this one, this is an 06X trail. I did have to modify the brackets, as you can see here, I ended up cutting them about, uh, I would say, about an inch. Uh, as the brackets, uh, when they put on, it made the radio stick out too far, so I wasn't able to put my um, dash back on. But anyways, I was able to trim it, and now it uh, sits where it should. So, uh, another thing to note, with these connections here for these radios, uh, they're all allocated to one single one, so you're not going to be able to, you know, get into the wrong spot, basically. Uh, they all go into one spot so just you know put them in and you're good to go uh, anyways so now that i've done all that we'll uh <clears throat> just gonna it gonna have my words as clean as i possibly can here so i'll show you here and we'll turn it on to test it out so i'll just throw this here uh, another thing to note with this one i will be using two screws uh one on the bottom on each side so let me put that on to make sure this doesn't come uh sliding off while I'm on here I'm going and I uh, put my negative back on my battery and I did uh, give it a test I kind of gone through it already but I'll show you anyways let me just find my keys should be coming on here there's booting up this is the CAN uh, logo on there. Let's see how fast these boots. Shouldn't be too long. Hopefully not too long. And uh, there's the uh, AM FM. Uh, you can search on this one. Uh, we can also just hit this and hold it for one second. It should uh, go through the uh, Good search mode. Good big-hearted people in the mustard seed to help these kids. So I'll just turn it off just for copyright issues. Uh, so there's the uh, AM FM. And then uh, let's say you're going to program any of these. Uh, let's say this one here, for example. Uh, there's the six uh, presets here. So press and hold and it'll uh, put that on there. If you see the little play sign on it, that's the one that, uh, the current station that you run. Uh, I already set up my phone as well, so as you can see, the phone logo there shows up. Um, the location indicator. So we'll close that up. And then here is the uh, the interface. So there's your phone, uh, your AM, FM, music videos, and then all your other apps. So I already downloaded um, Google Maps. I'm kind of playing with uh, Power Amp, uh, there's a Play Store, and these are the other stuff here, uh, wallpapers, anything else that you need to do. There's a home button. Uh, so if you play music, this will show up here. I have nothing on there right now. It shows you the date and the time. Uh, what else? Uh, your pull-down menu, so the, the brightness, uh, volume up and down. I don't want touchscreen, uh, memory, Wi-Fi. I will have to set up my Wi-Fi on it. Uh, so I'm parked in front of my place. Uh, and yeah, so that's the uh, unit there. Um, like I said, everything works uh, good on it. I gave it a quick test, make sure everything worked. Uh, but yeah, that's how you install a uh, double DIN. Uh, in this case, this is a Seikan uh, unit uh, into a 06 uh, Nissan X Trail. I'll put the link into the description down below for this specific unit if you're interested in it. And this is what the uh, unit looks like now that's all uh, finished with the uh, trim piece back on. Uh, so it fits uh, pretty good. Small, small gap at the top. But uh, I think because of my the brackets there. But otherwise, uh, everything fits uh, good. Sounds good so far. Works great. So uh, anyways, I'll put the description down, in the description down below the link to the specific unit. So you can check this one out. Uh, you can also check out any other unit for your uh, Nissan or any other vehicles that you may have. 
Uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Any comments, uh, questions, let me know.